Welcome to Swedish Linux. Let's talk about Steam Deck. Will be all the thoughts about Steam Deck. And here is my thoughts about Steam Deck. Is it the savior for Linux community? The kicker that will make Linux grow even faster because Steam Deck is based on Arch? Or it is the devil that will destroy Linux. Let's talk about it right after this. Welcome back to the Swedish Linux. So, here is my thoughts about Steam Deck. Is it really the savior of Linux? Will it generate enough propulsion for Linux to grow? Or will it sink Linux to the depth that is always going to be? That Linux never going to reach more than 1% of the market? Let's talk about it. What is the Steam Deck? Everybody is talking about it. So, let's look at it. Here you see the Steam Deck. This is a handheld game controller that you can play all the Steam Deck. If you're younger, you know about Steam and the Proton DB that shows which games work on Linux or not. And now Steam has developed this handheld console that you can play most of the games. And it's driven by Arch. And um, as you can see, it's quite impressive what Steam is doing. I cannot deny it. I ordered one, so uh, I'm not the one that uh, are against it. I think it's super cool product. But that's not what we're going to talk about. We are talking about will Steam Deck be uh, give the momentum the Linux community that Linux will grow because you see it's based on Arch system which is one of the in my opinion best systems of Linux you see here we have it and this is what I have myself I have uh, Manjaro KDE Plasma which is the Arch base uh, Linux distro. This is what I have on my computer and um, it's really stable and um, works really really good. I'm really really happy uh, to be using Manjaro. But you see Linux is still an operating system but many people, when they heard Linux, they're thinking about the black terminal window that everybody needs to use, but that's not the fact. You see, today you have Manjaro, for example. There are other uh, Arch, Arch uh, based distributions of Linux who have completely graphic interface. And uh, here on YouTube you can find tons of information about Arch Linux and how fast it is. It is very light compared to some other distributions. And really, you can use it left and right. And this distro guy, the Derek Taylor, uh, this guy is not 
my cup of tea, but fine. He talks about it. He's a good guy too. But what about Linux generally? I mean, we are in the fact talking about it. It's two possible outcome coming to happen about Steam Deck. If Steam Deck, first of all, able to deliver it because of the pandemic and the war between US and China, which is a completely different discussion, can deliver it. And if Steam Deck really, uh, really can deliver what they promise, it's going to be a magnificent victory for Linux. And it's going to be a golden feather in the Linux uh, community. And uh, it's going to be a huge success, not only for Steam, but for the Linux community and the Linux-based operating system, like Arch, Manjaro, and so forth. But it can as well, if let's say this Steam Deck fails, it won't work as it's supposed to do. There will be a lot of problems, software problems. It could be a bad thing for Linux community. Because you see, a couple of years ago, nothing of this existed. Five, six years ago, it was pretty much only one contributor to Linux computing systems. It was System76. Later, Dell, Lenovo, HP jump on the train. And we have plenty of different smaller companies around the world who's building specific Linux computers. And now we have this. And this could really be the push Linux need. But the question is, will it? Will it? Because you see, it's a lot of factors that need to work together. If it doesn't work uh, the supposed way it should, then it's going to be a big hit to all Linux haters. Ah, oh, look, it didn't work. Uh, Linux is too complicated. Linux is this and that. And many people will most likely not go to Linux. But if it's work, it will be a magnet for people to try Linux because everybody going to talk about it. Uh, what's running this system? Oh, it's Arch Linux. And what is Linux? Many people will ask, especially the young kids, what is Linux? And they're going out on the internet, they're going to Google it and they're going to look for it and see, oh, it's cool. If this handheld device works and Proton DB uh, works flawless on um, Linux, why not jump and skip Microsoft? So it could be a very good thing for Linux with a big butt, but it could as well be the next stone that pulls Linux to the deep ocean bottom. But it will be interesting because Stream Deck is supposed to start shipping in just about a month. And it will be very interesting to see if it's the golden feather, the kicker that make Linux grow even more, or the doomer who will doom Linux even more to the dark corners of the earth. We will see. It will be very interesting to follow this. And uh, I will be Definitely following it because I ordered one and I'm going to test it. So this is what are my thoughts about Steam Deck. It could be the savior or it could be the doomer. Let's see what time shows. Okay, guys, that's my thoughts about Steam Deck. Peace out.